Hello, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in Photoshop Elements, although the program we're going to be working with is the Organizer, which is available from either one of the programs and interfaces with each of these programs. In fact, the very tool we're going to look at, the Slideshow Creator, also interfaces with both Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. That said, let's open up the organizer. You can do that by clicking on the organizer button that's on the action bar for either Photoshop Elements or Premiere Elements, or by selecting the organizer from the welcome screen. So here's our organizer, and I have some slides arranged in an album I call Jason Slides. And I'm going to select some of the photos from it. You don't have to do this in advance of opening the slideshow creator, but I like to do it because that allows me to pick up my images based on what album I have them in. But I'll show you later on, you can still add and remove slides from your slideshow as you're working. So once I've selected my media or my slides, I want to go over to the Create button and select the option for Slideshow. Now, prior to version 11, there was an OK Slideshow Creator built into the organizer. In more recent versions of Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements in the organizer, we've seen a much more advanced slideshow creator and we're looking at it right now. So we have the option here at the opening screen to choose a theme and some of these will show more than one photo on screen at the same time. They have nice transitions, have nice animation, they have built-in music. So we're going to select array here and once we've selected our theme we'll click next. Now the program is going to generate a nice preview of the slideshow. There we go upbeat music, cool animation. Now once we're done looking at our preview, we can edit this and customize it. Just hover your mouse over the slideshow preview and this edit button will become available. Click on that and we're in our slideshow builder where we can do our customization. Now you can add captions to your slides. These captions will show up on the slideshow as I've done here where it says Jason and me. I can right click on any one of these slides and select edit caption and I can call this Jason's house, etc, etc. And I can add as many captions as I'd like. In addition, I can create a title slide and I'm going to create it at the end here just to show you how you can also rearrange the order of your slides. So I'm going to select the last picture in the slideshow and then click on add text slide here at the bottom. And once I do that, uh, a slide is created and I can call this Jason's pictures and then I can slide this and this is sometimes a little bit clumsy but I'm going to slide this into the first position on my slideshow um, there we go I think I got a grip on it nope see it's a little bit clumsy if you don't grab it in the right spot it just sort of uh, selects a bunch of pictures I just want to select this one I think I got it this time nope let's try right in the middle there we go nope There we go, I got it now. I drag it up here to the very beginning, and let it go, and now it's my first slide is going to be this title slide that says Jason's Pictures, and then whichever slides I've added captions to will show up with their captions, which down at the bottom here, I can turn on or off. So I can turn those off and see no captions, or turn them on and see the custom captions I added. If you want to remove a picture, and these are also adorable, I don't know which one I'll remove, I can select one, and then click on the remove button. This isn't going to remove it from the organizer or my hard drive. It's only going to remove it from the slideshow. And likewise, if I want to add more pictures, I can go up to add media in the upper left corner and I can select uh, whether I grab these pictures from the organizer. Notice I can't see the individual albums here, so I have to look through the whole organizer. That's why I liked choosing my media before uh, I created the slideshow. You can also go add media and go directly into your hard drive and find whatever uh, photos you have stored on your hard drive. The music is there automatically. However, if you want, you can click on the audio button here at the bottom and you can choose some custom music, any song you have on your hard drive. And then at any point you can click preview and the program will create a preview for you. There's my title. And here goes my slides with the captions underneath. Okay, once again, I hover my mouse over and click edit to get me back into the slideshow builder. When I'm ready to save or output my video of the slideshow, there are a couple of ways you can do it. 
Uh, don't be confused, the save button here actually saves your slideshow in editable form. So it doesn't save it as a video, it's going to save it as a PSE file, a file that you can edit and go back into. If you want to share it with the world, what you want to use is the export button, which is up in the upper right. We'll click on that. And you have the option of either sending it directly to Facebook or exporting it to a local disk. In other words, you're saving it as a uh, video file. So if we click on that, you can give the file a name, choose the location, and whether you're saving it as a 1080p or a 720p. That's 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. And it will be saved as an MP4. And that MP4 you can load up to the internet, you can use uh, in a Premiere Elements video project, or you can just view on your computer. A very cool tool, much more high level than previous slideshows, and a great tool that's been added here to the organizer in the last couple of versions of Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements and the Elements Organizer. Now, if you want to know much more about the organizer, I dedicate three chapters to it in my books, showing you all the great tools that are available in here and how to use them. Uh, it's a pretty powerful workspace that often gets neglected. Um, if you want to know all about them, check out the tips and tutorials we have here at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything there is to know pretty much about the organizer in three chapters, check out the moviepix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and the moviepix.com guides to Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. They're available at amazon.com and of course right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.